Okay friends, let's solve this by completing the square and not factoring just to show you how to do it by completing the square. So first what you're going to do is you're going to divide both sides by negative 2 this way and you're going to do this to every single term so it's 5 over here negative 2 x is equal to 0. Now this part negative 2 divided by negative 2 that will cancel which means you will just have x squared and that part is going to give you here negative 5 divided by 2x and this is equal to 0. So first you make it look like the following x squared plus bx is equal to 0. And then the formula that you apply basically looks like this every single time. It's x, and then you're going to do plus, always one half of the value of b. So b in our case would be negative 5 over 2. You always square this, and then you always subtract in this position again, one half of the value of b, but you square it every single time. This is equal to 0. So this step that I've just written is the formula that you basically use for completing the square every single time. So then here it's going to look like the following in our particular case. x plus and then here one half and now our b is negative 5 over 2 so you're going to multiply here by negative 5 over 2 and you square this and then here you're going to subtract every single time here in the middle is subtraction never addition and then here you're going to do here the following one half and then times negative 5 divided by 2 because that's the value of b in our case and you square this every single time this is equal to zero then you work it out so it's going to be x now 1 times negative 5 here is going to give you negative 5 in the top and then the bottom 2 times 2 is 4 and then you square this and it's going to be minus. For the next one is going to be 1 times negative 5 which again is going to give you negative 5. On the bottom the 2 times the 2 will give you 4 and you square this every single time like that and then this becomes 0. And then from here you continue it's going to be x minus 5 divided by 4 again squared minus. Now for the second one, negative 5 squared will give you a positive 25, but there's a negative in the middle. And then in the bottom, it's going to be 4 squared, which is 16, and this is equal to 0. Continue back across the top, it's going to give you here the following. x minus 5 over 4, this quantity squared. On the right side, you take the 25, and you put it over the 16, through addition. From here, take the square root of both sides. So x minus 5 divided by 4 squared, and this is then equal here to plus or minus the square root of 25 divided by 16. Continue, so it's going to be x minus 5 divided by 4 is equal to plus or minus. This is now going to be 5 over 4. And then you can combine, so x equals here 5 divided by 4. So I'm taking the negative 5 fourths to the right side to addition. It's going to be 5 fourths plus or minus 5 fourths. Now each of these is going to give you a different answer, so x would be equal at first, for example, to 5 minus 5 divided by 4, so that would be 0 divided by 4, 0 divided by 4 is 0, you see, next one. x would be 5 plus 5 from the plus sign, and then divide that by 4, so this would be 10 divided by 4, which you could then equivalently write as 2 times 5 over 2 times 2, and then you can see that the 2 here, in this position can be canceled with the 2 in this position right there. And that's going to leave you an answer of 5 seconds at the end. So the two solutions are right here. Just to be clear on that, x equals 0 is one of the solutions, and then 5 over 2 is the other solution. This is an example of doing this by completing the square. As you can see, it's way longer in this particular case than, for example, factoring. But some people expect you to be able to do this by completing the square with fractions. Thank you. I'll see you in another video. Please leave a like and subscribe.